Thank you, Jorge. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Nicolas from the MapTyler team. So at MapTyler, <coughs> we develop uh, global satellite and street maps uh, and run the MapTyler cloud platform that makes it easy to use and customize them. So today, I'm going to um, present some of these maps and then uh, give a few uh, tips based on simple uh, cartographic examples. So before that, uh, please, sorry, let me start with a, a bit of theory about the vector tiles technology. So uh, vector tiles usually come in the Mercator reference system. Uh, it's convenient because the entire planet can just fit in a, one square at zoom level zero. So then each tile can then easily be split into four smaller tiles at, at next zoom level. Each tile can be found uh, at a Z, uh, ZXY address. So Z is for zoom, um, X for a colon, and Y for a row. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so it's so far pretty much similar to, to raster tiles, right? The, the real mm -hmm. difference is that geometry, uh, vector geometry are contained in the, in the vector tiles, such, such as point lines or polygons. <clears throat> And the tiles uh, keeps just data, not, not style. Uh, it is also very lightweight. Uh, so unlike raster tiles that are served, uh, that returns uh, PNG or JPEG or WebP images, uh, vector tiles are served at, as a binary file, so the, the PBF, and these PBF files are, are very small. So therefore, it, it, it uses less bandwidth and, and allow for faster performances. So I can give you a few figures from our uh, MapTiler data website from which you can download such vector tiles. So talking about the OpenStreetMap vector tiles, the full world uh, is just 100 gigabyte. Uh, the Italy, the extract for Italy is 2.6 gigabyte. Uh, whereas the Florence metropolitan area is only 40 meg. So, you know, it's much, much uh, um, light, lightweight uh, compared to raster tiles. Uh, the style itself for tiles is rendered on the client side. So there is also the open source vector style schema that defines which data is included in the, in the tiles. Um, so, all our maps at MapTile Clyde rely on, on implement this, this schema. Um, and uh, the Open Map Tiles project allows to select which data uh, to include in the tiles for which zoom levels and how they would be generalized. It also defines the, the um, class names that will be used for, for cartography. So Open Map Tiles uses uh, OpenStreetMap, Natural Earth, and Wikidata by default, but this can be applied to any uh, vector GIS data. <clears throat> so there is no style in vector tiles, and we want to give them a style that defines the vis that will define the visual appearance of the map. The map style is defined in a style JSON file, um, which, syn which syntax sorry is uh, based on the Mapbox GL style specification. This file contains various sections, such as name, metadata, sources, glyph, etc. Today we will be mostly looking at the layers section, where the map layers are defined and their style properties too. Um, the style can become, quickly become quite verbose, so one good practice is to try to keep the number of layers and just the number of lines as lower as possible. <clears throat> So you luckily don't have to write the, the style JSON by hand. Uh, one would rather start with ready-made uh, map style and, and start to modify it in a style editor in the web browser. So at MapTyler, we call it uh, Customize. And this tool lets you change the colors, as you can see on the screen, but also fonts, <coughs> um, preferred language, and world view uh, with a few clicks. So basically, you can you can create an infinity of map style 
using the same tile set quite, quite easily. Really an infinity of map style because uh, map tile cloud maps, uh, map tile cloud offers, offers a dozen of standard maps. Each of them has two or, f or more presets that you can use to start designing with. <clears throat> so moving the, the HSL slider that you can see on the left, let you, the, and changing the fonts and, and so on, let you create style variants and um, the appearance of the map is updated uh, live, so that lets you iterate and test and see the results uh, in, a, in a very easy way. So here is our basic map style, the most simple, actually. Um, it, it provides a, a lightweight and informative uh, base map specially designed to overlay your own JS data on top so the map reader won't be distracted by many features or POIs. Um, so it has uh, recently, the basic map has recently uh, been updated in a new basic V2. So it was much uh, simplified. We tried to reduce number of layers, so only 25 remaining and the style JSON is around 700 lines. Uh, so it offers, uh, it is now easier to use and offer uh, even faster performance. <clears throat> so for example, you may appreciate how the whole road network uh, is mapped using only one layer. Um, so the, using the power of styles expressions. In this case, the, the line width property is set according to data attributes, so motorway or primary or, or secondary, but also um, interpolated across zoom level. So the more you zoom in, the thicker road lines are. So the basic map style is also available through dark and light presets that you can also use in the customize uh, and, then, and then modify. This is what we do, in fact, to prepare such presets. We, we would fiddle with the HSL slider until it look as we want. <clears throat> so dark versus light, both are very well suited to, to make your data overlay shine at, at every scale. There are different presets uh, proposed for each standard map in MapTile Cloud. Uh, there are two other maps that I want to show. Um, um, which may be switched according to the season. So uh, summer versus winter. So our outdoor map uh, uses uh, green and, and sunny color tones, uh, whereas the winter map is, is tinted with the icy blue and, and wintry colors. Uh, in this particular case, uh, the data layers are also changing. So hiking and biking trails in the outdoor map versus a ski resort and slope in the, in the winter map. So you can, in, if you have another app, you can switch depending on the season. So that would be a seasonal preset. preset. And then there is our street map style. So especially designed for uh, mobility and transportation use cases. Um, it provides a rich base map. Um, focus on, uh, I mean, suited for itinerary or, or uh, navigation apps. Uh, it features, it highlights roads and transportation networks, uh, as well as a, um, a variety of POI uh, worldwide. You can also find it in your MapTile Cloud account, and it also comes with dark and light presets. So this is how we present the street style and any other in its simplest form. So basically, um, only few style properties can, can describe the style, such as feel, feel or line color, line width, text color, icon image. Uh, of course, there are many other parameters to take into account when mapping vector tiles, uh, but this may bring the cartographic simplicity brought by vector tiles to your attention. I mean, uh, Colorimetry, iconography, and typography are just the, the foundation of a, of a successful uh, vector-based map. So the 
street style uh, is also being modernized and simplified currently. So it will also soon land in the map title cloud at uh, street v2. Uh, in this slide, uh, you can, for example, see how the global land cover is mapped using only two layers. So the landscape layer uh, first uh, assign color to crop, scrub, or grass. If it's none of them, then it will be white for ice. And then a forest layer is uh, overlaid on top uh, and just shows uh, the forest and trees classes. So there are many other things we can, we can do with the, with the field property. In this example from our labs, so you can access the, the demo at the link on top of the slide, uh, we try to create a land drop shadow effect uh, by overlaying two field layers. Um, so the land shadow fill layer is placed below the land fill layer and it's translated a bit um, to, to create that, that drop shadow. So you can see the translate is changing according to zoom level as well. Um, we also could add an extra line layer using the same land data source or tile set, uh, but with, within a line layer and uh, try to create a, a glow, an additional glow around the coastline to, to emphasize the, the drop shadow. So this would be done with a line width and line blur properties that needs to be adjusted. So here's a, another example um, taken from our MapTiler Ocean base map, which will soon be released in MapTiler, in MapTiler Cloud uh, as well. So it relies on a new uh, tile set, bathymetry tile set, a process from the global bathymetry data. Um, <clears throat> so in this case, the depth attribute, which is contained as, as, uh, in the tiles, is uh, colored by value ranges at a small scale, and then uh, according to individual depth value at, at larger scale. So blue colors are, are also interpolated across zoom levels, and that results in a beautiful uh, blue color gradient, um, which color can, of course, be changed. So this is what we did to create a custom version uh, of this ocean uh, map. Uh, so here, more vivid colors are used, and uh, an additional um, bathymetric hill shade layer is overlaid in order to um, highlight the seafloor, uh, mounts, and, and, and canyon. So using that same uh, terrain RGB tile set within a raster DEM layer, we can also visualize the, the ocean in 3D, for example, using the latest MapLibre uh, version. So this is another example uh, created for the MapLibre quick start example. You can also see this simple map on the project's uh, homepage. So here we try to mimic the look and feel of the um, political map that used to be hanged on the wall of the, of the geography classroom. Um, so simple country tiles available from the Natural Earth Project were tiled using the MapTiler desktop software and then colored with this uh, match expression you can see on the, the right hand side. Um, so here, countries, world countries were randomly splitted into multiple arrays and each of the, each group of countries was assigned a, a specific color. So that's a very simple way to fill polygons, um, and uh, yes, you can, you can see the full style JSON on the MapLibre website to see how it is done in, in more details, so basically to see more of the, of the JSON. <clears throat> so my last example for the field color property uh, features a coroplet map. 
which is creating using the population data of the Czech Republic. So here, population density for every municipal polygon um, is contained in the tiles again, and uh, in the map style, several several thresholds are, are defined with a color code each time, and then interpolated uh, ac across zoom level again. So as said in the beginning, iconography is also an important part of vector tiles cartography. They are usually um, created as scalable vector graphics and then turn into a single uh, sprite image. So in this example, most of the OSM carto icons were scaled and turned into uh, a sprite image. It is now, it is now used in our open street map, map style that you can also find on the, on the cloud. And because the open map tile schema is using the same classes and subclasses name as OpenStreetMap. All we have to do here is to uh, use the subclass. You see it's bolded on the, in the JSON. Use the subclass as the icon image uh, value, and then the, the icon will magically uh, show up. Of course, there are additional settings uh, that are necessary to adjust the icon according to their, the position of the icon according to their uh, respective labels and uh, the labels are added using the text field property. So you can see the full sprite PNG image uh, on your map title cloud account in the symbol section of the map. So my last example is also about icons. So again, please visit the demo in our, at labs.maptyler.com if you want to see it live. Uh, the same approach is, is used here, but for uh, mapping all the, the flags of the world countries. So the latter are also available as, as SVGs, a turn in the, in the image sprite. Uh, but each SVG file is named after the ISO A2 uh, attribute, which is also uh, contained by the map tile planet or map tile country style set. So hence, we only, same thing, we only need to use the ISO A2 uh, value for the icon image and, and, and flags will show up. Uh, here, icon size, um, anchor and offset are also um, modified according to zoom, I, I mean to provide a seamless smooth zoom in. So they would, they would scale uh, as you, as you zoom in. So you can see, again, you can see the, the details uh, on, the, on the demo. <clears throat> um, so please let me conclude by, by saying that uh, uh, anyone can become a cartographer using MapTiler Cloud. Um, I warmly invite you to create free account and, and test it by yourself. Uh, you could even reuse some of the example I, I, I gave today. Once published, all the standard or custom maps are immediately made available as a vector tile style JSON, uh, XYZ raster tiles, WMTS, and static maps API. So that let you use the map in many ways and, and with your favorite uh, client such as MapLibre, OpenLayers, Leaflet, or QGIS. <clears throat> so please find MapTiler's uh, latest open source contribution at, at this link and open source project. You can also, of course, find many other information about us on MapTiler.com. <clears throat> and uh, I thank you very much for your, your attention, and I'm happy to answer any question. <clears throat>